Hi everyone, I'm Akila. In this video, let us see how to write a switch function. I have loaded the data from AdventureWorks 2017 database, Dean Promotion. So this table got two columns, promotion type and discount. The requirement is to categorize based on this discounts, some names, categories. So this is our requirement. If it is discount as less than or equals to 50, I want to categorize under promotional discount, less than or equals to 60 clearance, all these four values. So one way to achieve this requirement is by using multiple if statements. The switch function intention is the main ideal uh, usage of the switch function is to avoid if statements. So let us achieve this requirement instead of if statements by using switch function. And before I put the switch function here, I need to tell you a few points. Switch fun function got three parameters. The fourth parameter is the optional. The first parameter is the expression. The second one is value and result. It's like an array. I can write multiple values to be evaluated and multiple results to be written. And the fourth one is the else condition. If you don't mention any, the blank value will be displayed. What? So let me put this in the dash and you will, it will be more clear. And the points to re remember is the written type of all these expressions should be same. So what is the return type and all I'm talking about? Let me add a new column and put the function. Then you'll understand better. So promotion category equals switch. So first parameter is an expression, as I said. So as of now, I'm returning true. I will tell you why I have written true here. See, my first condition check is whenever the discount percentage is less than or equals to 0 0.15 means 15 percent then i need to return some value right here for each and every row i need to check some condition right it's not a scalar value uh suppose like if it is discount is 50 Clearance, if discount is 40, promotional discount, then I will pass my expression as discount promotion, discount PCT column. And I will check here that whether whenever it is equals to 50, return this. Whenever it is equals to 40, return this. But now our requirement has become like conditional check. That's why I have given true condition here so that it will be executed all the time. And it will check the value expression to return a particular value dim promotion less than or equals to 0 0.30 see i should return a string value all the time i can't return here some numbers or something decimal values or something because the return type should be same all the time dim promotion less than or equals to 0 0.40 i'm hitting alt enter to enter into the next line clearance see and this is the expression this is the value and this is the result right now the you can there is no limit like it should have only these many set of values and results you can have based on your requirement you can keep adding it now i have achieved in four value and result pairs my fourth parameter is else condition if i don't return any it will return as a blank so I can remove the uh, comma and I can hit enter and my switch function is ready. If I want to return something instead of blank values, then I write a comma, hit enter and say not in discount or something. Not in the list, okay? Not mentioned. <laughs> Fine, enter. 
Now, let me add to this table the promotion category. Let me resize this and see. Yeah. See? 60 clearance, less than 40 end of season discount, value at discount and promotional discount. Because we wrote equals to, it is giving for 15 as well. And main points to remember is, it should have same result value, means uh, data type, same result data type. And it can be option to have an else condition. If you are not mentioning any else condition, it will return blank. Otherwise, whatever you specify, the else will be evaluated. Okay, and if it's a scalar value, then you can write that column name in the expression directly, and you can just compare the scalar value. You can just type the scalar value, say comma, and the return value. So based on our condition, I have used true. It's not like always we use true. Based on your requirement, if it is a scalar value, you will write that column name here under the expression. Hope this is useful. Thank you.